Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Spider Sorry, here in the video. And uh, anyway, uh, welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the 2019 Canadian Grand Prix. Boy, was that exciting, and boy, am I ready to review. So let's just get underway. Now we have quite a few things to talk about, but first we're going to uh, go over the results. So first we have Lewis Hamilton again winning. Sebastian Vettel, I'll get into what happened later uh, in P2. Charles Leclerc, P3, uh, finished where he started. Valtteri Bottas, P4. Uh, Max Verstappen, P5. Daniel Ricciardo, P6. Nico Hulkenberg, P7. Pierre Gasly, terrible race from him, P7. Lance Stroll, a great comeback um, in P9. Daniel Kafi uh P10. Uh, he also had uh, a pretty good uh, drive. I don't know if I'm going to be covering them. Uh, I already know that I only have eight minutes. Um, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, looks like top five uh, were already down by one lap. Any anyway, as we have also Carlos Sainz. Uh, from McLaren, uh, P11, Sergio Perez, um, P12, uh, also one lap down, oh yeah, actually, they were all one lap down, Antonio Giovinazzi, um, and P in P13, Roman Grosjean, terrible race for the Haas boys, uh, in P14, and then Kimi Raikkonen, P15 for Alfa Romeo Racing, as we move on to George Russell, who is P16, Two laps down, actually. Kevin Magnussen, horrendous, horrendous weekend for him. In um, P17, Robert Kubica, uh, three laps down in P18. And then your non-finishers are Alexander Albon. I really believed in him this race. Um, and Lando Norris, who um, uh, the marshals pretty much just left his car out the entire race. Why, I am not sure. Um, I'm sure they have a very good reason for that. But anyway, let's address some of the things that happened, and especially, I'm just, um, yeah. So first, what's probably going to um, be probably the majority of this review, and that is Sebastian Vettel's penalty. I think um, most of the F1 community has agreed that it is a pretty stupid penalty. Um, uh, the more and more I think about it, the more... Uh, is is stupid because, I mean, so if um you don't know what happened or you probably do know what happened, but anyway, um, uh, what basically happened was Vettel, uh, initially went into uh corner three or turn three, uh, got a little bit of understeer in it or I think uh, sorry oversteer, uh, had to correct and ended up going onto the grass, um. Uh, and he did that make that mistake under pressure from Lewis Hamilton, who was making massive gains on him. So anyway, he goes onto the grass. Uh, then he has to get off the grass. Um, um, but as he gets off the grass, um, he gets a lot of um, under or uh, I don't know why I keep on saying understeer. He gets a lot of oversteer and ends up having to turn his wheel left. Lewis Hamilton goes for a gap, and then. Um, and then, um, basically, they nearly collided. Now, the Stewarts, um, they've been massively inconsistent over the past couple of seasons. It, it, uh, it hasn't been just one season. It has been multiple seasons. But this, this is just horrific because Vettel makes a mistake, like all humans do, and then he's awarded a five-second penalty, and uh, the... A result gets awarded to Lewis Hamilton, essentially. Now, after the race, understandably, Vettel was, I'm not going to say furious, I'm just going to say mad. Ended up, as you can see in this picture, um, switching uh, the boards, which I freaking loved. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, you have to feel sorry for Sebastian, because that was just a... There's, there's no explanation, that was just, he did everything, or almost everything right, apart from that mistake, um, and then that one mistake, uh, the FIA just jumped on him for, essentially, and it was, it was really just, just, just terrible to see this. But anyway, Vettel's penalty wasn't the only thing to happen, but it was definitely the elephant in the room, and I didn't, uh, I already feel like I didn't talk enough about it, but let's talk about um, the guy in this picture here, Lando Norris. Now, it was interesting because he retired around, like, lap 
six, seven, something wrong. Actually, lap ten. Actually, now that my memory kicked in, um, um, yeah. Uh, basically, what happened is we all thought he uh, he at the wall of champions because we saw him rolling. Uh, to the Marshall Post uh, with uh, his uh, right rear tire um, displaced from the rest, um, but apparently his brakes uh, melted his suspension. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. That That's just absolutely crazy, and obviously, um, like this circuit is, you do need uh, brakes around uh, this. This is probably one of the most important circuits to have um, good brakes. Um, but yeah, that was just really strange. And also, uh, the marshal's just leaving his car out there. Why, I do not know. Um, uh, but yeah, it was just, um, interesting. It was an, it was, it was interesting. Um, let me just put it that way. So now let's talk about the Americans' Haas. And, um, boy, uh, this race was definitely a different, a disappointment in them. Although, um, now that I think of it, I mean, this race sort of ended... Uh, in Q2 when Magnussen crashed, uh, and then obviously Magnussen, um, I believe, uh, he finished behind, uh, George Rus Russell, actually, um, uh, but anyway, yeah, my memory, as you can tell, is absolute crap, um, but yeah, terrible weekend for Haas, oh yeah, there's the, uh, the Mafia thing, <laughs> FIA Mafia, <laughs> um, yeah, I was not happy with that penalty. But anyway, um, yeah, just terrible, terrible weekend for Haas. I hope they can bounce back from this. Obviously, they've been struggling with tire temperature. I think that maybe played a role in this. Um, although I believe in Monaco, they did say they solved the tire issue. Um, but uh, yeah. But now let's talk about my driver of the day, in my opinion. Um, Lance Stroll, he definitely impressed his home crowd today. Um, really good result from him. Uh, started P16, finishing P9. Impressive job, especially um, if you saw the race, uh, especially that overtake on um, Carl, or actually, no, I'm thinking Daniel Kvyat. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah, really good job uh, to uh, Lance Stroll. Also, great job to Daniel Kvyat. And um, yeah, great job from uh, the both of them. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really have much else to say. Uh, Kvyat, I, I, I believe he started around, like, P14 or something like that. Um, so, yeah, really good drive from him as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, both of them just, um, uh, driving, uh, their cars wonderfully today. So, anyway, next we're going to talk about Pierre Gasly. Um, as a Red Bull fan, I am disappointed um, yeah, uh, just really bad from him, started, I believe, P6, finished P9 in a Red Bull, that is unacceptable, but I guess I am also sort of happy, because I also like, um, uh, Renault, uh, or, uh, Daniel Ricciardo, and I'm beginning to chew on, find myself chewing on Renault more than, uh, Red Bull, so yeah, maybe I'll, um, Maybe I'll uh, update you guys in the next uh, video saying that I am a Renault fan. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, and like the video as well. Um, if you guys uh, didn't like anything or you liked something about this video, make sure to comment it below. Also, leave some questions because I want to do a Q&A at some point. So, yeah, thank you for watching.